Good morning, uh, folks. My name is uh, Madhu Kashyap. I'm the product manager for OpenStack at Brocade. And with me is Kiran Srinivasa, who is the principal software engineer uh, as well. Today we are going to talk about um, the VPN gateway solution that uh, um, Kiran and team have put together. And this is uh, using OpenStack, SDN controller, and NFE. These are all uh, pretty hot topics in uh, today's uh, in the OpenStack Summit. And we'd like to showcase a solution that we put together uh, using all of these different technologies. So let me uh, set the stage by talking a little about uh, how these different uh, technologies fit together. So you traditionally would think of OpenStack as the cloud orchestrator at the top of the stack, um, spinning up VMs and then all of the other subsystems and controllers underneath it. That is the most traditional way. That's what you see on the left of your screen. Uh, but there are more interesting use cases as well. Uh, and you can use OpenStack in conjunction as a peer with um, an SDN controller like uh, Open Daylight. You can even use it uh, reversed where Open Daylight is the controller and it's uh, making API calls to OpenStack to spin up VMs, for instance, uh, if you want a firewall instance uh, on your, um, in your infrastructure, you would have uh, Open Daylight make a call to, to OpenStack, which you see on the right. But today we are going to focus on the architecture which is in the middle where you have OpenStack and Open Daylight um, talking to each other and then uh, creating this whole VPN gateway solution. So here's the use case. Um, you want to set up a site-to-site -site VPN uh, between multiple, um, say, three sites, which is what we're going to show, uh, talk about. Um, and you want um, either a service provider, a large enterprise that, has, uh, that have different data centers, uh, and they want to be able to connect these data centers using an IPsec tunnel. So we'd use um, OpenStack here to launch vRouter instances. Um, these are the Viata, Brocade Viata vRouter instances. You uh, configure these vRouter instances using the Brocade Viata controller, which is based on Open Daylight. Uh, and, and provision these tunnel gateways between the different uh, data centers. Uh, and this whole setup is, is controlled by the Open Daylight uh, controller. Here's a busy picture of what it looks like. Uh, you have site A on the left, site B, which is at the bottom, and site C. These are the three different sites. You have three different OpenStack instances, uh, one, two, and three, which are labeled there. Uh, you also have the Brocade Viata controller, uh, which is based on Open Daylight. And these are all a single logical cluster uh, uh, and synchronized for configuration. And basically, you have the Brocade UI, which is the centralized uh, UI which the operator or admin will use uh, to provision all of the different um, uh, VMs, the v uh, control the, the V routers, provision the tunnels, and so on. So just quickly to flow, um, to walk you through that flow, um, the, the admin will uh, initiate uh, the OpenStack uh, Horizon uh, dashboard and through the dashboard uh, create instances for the Brocade Viata controller as well as the vRouter. So that's what you see uh, first through the blue arrows and then the black arrows that are uh, in, in the screen. That, that's the VM instance uh, spinning up of the VM instances by OpenStack. Then you have the Brocade Viata controller that is up and running, and the vRouter, and that's what is used to configure the tunnels across uh, these three sites. Um, all of this is done using the RESTConf and the NetConf APIs, uh, bringing in the configurations of the router and then provisioning these tunnels. And as I mentioned earlier, we have the uh, three Brocade Viata controllers on a single logical cluster uh, and they synchronize all of the different configurations for the vRouters. With that, I will hand over to Kiran, who will walk you through the rest of the, the presentation. Yeah, previous slide, please. Okay. Um, thanks, Madhu. So this is Kiran. So just to quickly recap what Madhu clearly explained, we have three OpenStack clouds uh, in three different geographic locations, and we are trying to uh, bridge or connect them using uh, securely using IPsec tunnels. Um, so the idea is that uh, if anybody wants to open a remote office, they, all they need is a big fat server with the internet connectivity and the rest of the things will be virtual and can be done remotely. Uh, so um, we tried to, we wanted to show this live, but uh, because of technical uh, uh, reservations, we couldn't show it live. But 
here is uh, here are some of the um, ca big captures from our uh, uh, demo. Um, so here is a site one. It's a pretty simple dev stack uh, uh, cloud, wherein uh, we have uh, uh, external network and then a private network. And the external network we have our brocade by Viata router uh, with its B router plugin acting as a, a neutron router. And we also have a VM for the UI, uh, and then we have a VM for the BBC or Brocade Viata SDN controller, which can actually be a leader or a follower. Uh, it will be a part of the cluster. And then we have another instance of a um, B router, uh, which is a 5400 Brocade Viata router, uh, which is launched as OpenStack instance instead of a router. And on the private network, we have uh, Ubuntu VMs and the Cirrus VMs uh, acting as traffic generators or traffic receivers. So this is site one. Uh, this is located in Philadelphia. And then uh, this is site two, just very similar configuration. We have 5600 as a, uh, um, a neutron router, and then a 5400 as an instance, and then a controller acting as a cluster as a controller itself. And then we have a, a private network with VMs. And then this is in San Jose. And then the third site is located in uh, New Hampshire. Um, and then it's a very similar uh, structure. We have a 5600 router. Uh, acting as neutron router and then UI and controller and uh, 5400 VMs. And then we have uh, in private networks uh, some Ubuntu VMs acting as traffic generators or receivers. And uh, this is the Viata controller UI, um, which shows uh, that we have we have added uh, extra features into the Brocade via, uh, into the Open Daylight controller UI to add a EMS functionality for Viata. What it does is it can register any of the V router instances anywhere in the in, in the world, and uh, it, it works using NetConf uh, on port 22, so it is secure. Uh, and now once we register those uh, uh, V routers, we can easily click and then uh, you know uh, create IP uh, V4 or IP V6 tunnels between those, and then those things will be automatically configured. We are also working on a detailed version of advanced configuration, wherein you can actually input all those parameters by yourself. But right now, they are all generated uh, to keep it simple. Um, and this is the tunnel visualization, visualization that we have provided, uh, wherein it clearly shows the Viata routers on different places and then how they are connected using tunnels, uh, including IPv4 or IPv6 tunnels. And uh, one more thing, uh, extra things we have added uh, to this uh, Open Daylight controller. Um, is called Path Explorer. So with, uh, if you have multiple open source switches uh, on the network, we help them, uh, we, we will find the uh, shortest path or path based on some any QoS parameters. So this is, the, uh, this is the way you configure from source to destination, and it tells you what kind of path it will follow on a software uh, network, open flow network. And uh, this is the visualization of the path that was created. So everything comes with visualization uh, in the network. And uh, we are also working on service functions chaining uh, using the similar concept, wherein we are going to have a similar open, using OpenStack as a cloud orchestrator to orchestrate uh, virtual v, uh, VADX VMs or vRouter VMs uh, to act as specific uh, uh, to to handle specific services, and then the Viata controller to actually chain those things together. Um, and then I just want to look at see if yeah this is this is going to be the topology that we're going to see that probably for the next release uh, next time when we are here, wherein we're going to show a uh, simple rudimentary service functions chaining, wherein the controller is going to try to route different kinds of traffic in on different VMs uh, on the OpenStack server that was launched, and then we're going to uh, have a live video feed and then a voice feed to show uh, trace those paths. So that's all for now, folks, and thank you very much.